Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very very exciting video of tetration equation or you can say exponential equations, we are going to solve today one very interesting tetration equation 3 super power x super power 2 equal to 3 square root 3 power 18 whole power 18. If you will check left hand side is tetration form or written in tetration. And right hand side, if you will observe, it is written in exponentiation form. So one important thing, either I will convert RHS into LHS or I will convert LHS into RHS. So which one is easy? If I will target RHS and then if I will be able to convert into the form of tetration, then that would be easy, I guess. So let's do that. So I am going to consider our RHS only. Let me try to convert into tetrational form. Right now it is in exponentiation or exponential form. So I am going to use one property from exponents exactly. That is a power b power c that can be written as a power c power b that is equal to a power b c. So this time I will use the converse equation, the converse relationship. So what I am going to write, it will be equal to 3 square root 3 and then I can write 18 as 2 times 9. Okay, now you can see here we are a power b times c. So I can split in this form. So I will write 3 square root 3 whole square and then whole power 9. Now we know the square of 3 root 3. So 3 square is 9, square root 3 square is 3. So 9 times 3. So let me write 27 power 9. So shall we write in this form? No, it is still not possible. It should be identical numbers. Okay. It should be identical in numbers. If I am having, let me write here. If I am having tetrational form 2 super power 3, its meaning is 2 power 2 power 2. So once I am converting one exponential form into tetrational form, that means these numbers should match, power should be identical. Okay, and that number of count that would be equal to superpower. So let me convert 27 power 9 first in the form of tetration. Now I can split 27. I can write 27 as 9 times 3 I can write or 3 power 3 also I can write. So let me write this 27 as 3 power 3 and power is 9. Okay. Now if I will take product in the using the same property, this property only, I can write a power b power whole power c that is equal to a power b times c. So I will write 3 times 9. Now you can say this will generate 3 power 27. Okay. 3 power 3 times 9 that is equal to 27. Now I can see this 27 is 3 power 3. So I will write 3 power 3. Or simply you can write 3 power 3 power 3. Okay. And what value of 3 power 3 power 3 is? It is 3 power 3 in tetrational form or tetration form. So RHS is converting into the form which we were looking for. Exponential form into tetration form. So let me write 3 power x power 2 equal to 3 power 3. 3 super power x super power 2 equal to 3 super power it is called. Okay. Now we will solve this. How it will be? Once base is same. So we can compare their exponents. 
or super powers okay in case of tetration it is called super powers so i will write x super power 2 that is equal to 3 how it is because we know that a power b super power it is a super power b equal to c super power d then you cannot comment once c is equal to a now you can it is same as exponential property so we will conclude b should be equal to d super powers must be equal to each other let's solve so i will write x super power 2 equal to 3 that means what does it mean x super power 2 so that is x power x equal to 3 now it looks like obvious solution lambda w function is about to come so let's take ln both sides so i will write ln x power x equal to ln 3 done now i will use one logarithmic property ln a power b equal to b ln a this exponent or power will come down okay so i can write this one as x ln x equal to ln 3 now it is not in the right form where we can go for lambda w function so what i will do i will first write in the standard form which form we will call is standard if one function is in product with e raised to the power x means multiplier and exponent the power should match and we will take lambda w then it will give us x the same it should be same means the power should be same as multiplier that value we will get after taking lambda w both sides okay so that particular side will give us x so if i will apply lambda w here can we apply no so what we will do we will first use exponent property for this x so i can write x as e raised to the power ln x times ln x equal to ln 3 in a standard form ln x into e raised to the power ln x equal to ln 3 okay now you can see everything is matching as per property see both values are same now i will go for lambda w function both sides i will consider lambda w function both sides so left hand side we will have ln x as we know this property of lambda w function so left hand side is ln x right hand side is lambda w function of ln 3 okay now let's write in exponential form so ln x is equal to lambda w function of ln 3 next step i can write both side raise base e so e raised to the power ln x that will give us x right side it would be e raised to the power lambda w function ln 3 so if you will check this value using wolfram alpha you will be having 1.825455 and so on this value is approximate value this is how we can find out now if you want to check this value so you can put over there 3 super power 1.8254 and so on super power 2 it will come out 3 root 3 if you will calculate this value it will match i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video